According to Senator John Barrasso, the blood drained from Adam Schiff's face when the defense team played a video of his parody of the conversation between President Trump and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. After such a humiliating moment, it was surprising that Schiff chose to invent a new conversation between Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. While answering a question on the Senate floor on Thursday, Schiff imagined a hypothetical secret meeting about Russia's effort to hack Ukrainian natural gas company Burisma Holdings. Schiff said, if the president went further and said to Putin in that secret meeting, I want you to hack Burisma, I couldn't get the Ukrainians to do it. And I'll tell you what, you have Burisma, and you get me some good stuff, then I'm going to stop sending money to Ukraine. Former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich spoke to Fox News' Laura Ingram last night about this profoundly, publicly dishonest man. Gingrich called Schiff a pathological liar and a deranged human being who is less believable than the dossier. Additionally, Gingrich believes Schiff has lost the ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood. Gingrich told Ingram, he lied for two and a half years about the Russian collusion. It all disintegrated. He looked like a fool. He learned nothing. He came back and lied again and again. Here we are at the end of the cycle, he goes back, and the guy is still lying again. I think somehow, people have to decide that Adam Schiff is a compulsive, uncontrollable liar. A healthy House of Representatives would strip him of the Intelligence Committee. How can you expect the President and the CIA and others to share secrets with a person who is this profoundly, publicly dishonest? He said that once Trump is acquitted by the Senate, the Democrats have a decision to make. Will they want to work with this president for the rest of the year or do they want to continue this kind of unending hostility? Gingrich said, the burden is going to be on the Democrats, having done everything they could for three years to destroy President Trump, and having failed, do they continue for the next eight or ten months to try and investigate, attack, smear, whatever? Or, do they say, let's get a couple of things done before the election, to prove that we are a party that can be positive? Unfortunately, I think we all know the answer to that. Back in November, Gingrich appeared on The Ingram Angle to discuss a lie Schiff had told during the testimony of Alexander Vindman before the impeachment inquiry panel. I still remember his comment, I think it's hard to exaggerate to the American people the degree to which Adam Schiff is a liar and a liar on a scale that frankly totally dishonors the U.S. Congress. During a discussion of Schiff's lies last week with Maria Bartiromo, Rep. John Ratcliffe said, and he does it with such conviction.